Okay, hello everyone. So since, as you know, I have such issues setting up my ridiculously tiny tripod, I decided that I would start by just um, being here instead of talking to you first and then moving over. Um, so in my last video, I mentioned that I'm really kind of enjoying the bullet journal thing. I am really so happy that I am figuring it out. And thanks to that, I kind of preemptively got a new journal that is going to be for the new year. So this, here it is, Leuchtturm. I do like the Leuchtturm. And I um, do have to admit again that it is thanks to Boho Berry that I, that I found the Leuchtturm. And I had been buying these through Goulet pens, but I had seen on another YouTuber's site, it was a, a German YouTuber, uh, she was pointing out her bullet journaling and she had this beautiful, beautiful white Leuchtturm. And I thought, gosh, I want that. <laughs> so I looked and I could not find it on Goulet pens, so I went to the Leuchtturm site itself and I found the white notebook but it was not available in the dot grid through the the website so i contacted them and said hey i would really like the white uh notebook in the dot grid so it took a little back and forth but eventually it worked out and i got my leuchter so here it is there is nothing special about it yet it's still blank all the normal leuchter stuff but what I wanted to point out with this, aside from that I am so happy that I got the white in the dot grid, is I did also get a gift. They sent me along with this one. Let me get it for you over here. They sent one of their planners and this is the 2016 planner so I have no clue what I'm going to use it for. I may wind up giving it to my sister who was interested in trying to um, start using a planner. But I'm glad that they sent me this because I was interested in their planners and wondering what their setup is and I think I may steal a couple of the ideas out of here for use in my bullet journal. So just to show you, I wonder if I can do this without my camera flipping over. I don't think I can. <laughs> but just to show you, it starts off here with the year at a glance. So this is, it goes one back and one forward. So this is 2015. And then they have over here 2016, 2017. So you have all of the years. And the other thing I really like about this is, hopefully you can see, but on the left hand side for each month, they do list out the week. And also, as per my pet peeve I mentioned in a previous video, uh, the weeks start on Monday, which I am very happy about. Also, you may note the Sundays are done in a darker font. They're a little bit highlighted. So I really like that. And then here we have basically a Calendex. And as noted in my uh, video about the bullet journal that I've been doing, I discovered that I really love Calendex. And it may be replacing my regular monthly uh, spreads. So, and hopefully my moving this back and forth doesn't... I'm, I want you to see this nicely, but I think it just causes um, the camera to go fuzzy, so maybe I don't do that anymore. <laughs> but what I like here, aside from it lists out all of the days as per a normal calendex, it also has next to that the the letter for the day of the week, and it includes the month, uh, not the month, the moon symbols for the new and full moons which I really like. I always love when calendars have that. And the darker lines going across are the Sundays. So that's nice. But different from a traditional bullet journal calendex, uh, this one only has six months at a time, which I really like. I was contemplating doing that anyway when I set up my next calendex for the new bullet journal. So I was really happy that I got to see it in this layout here. 
And then it has a chart of international holidays. It has a project planning uh, sheet, which I'm really not sure how to use. It has, let me, I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but so you have your grid. Off on the side here, you have spaces for, I'm assuming you write down your project, and then it has week numbers up at the top here, and also here, and then you have December, January, February, and on through the following January. And these are all for the same year, so I'm, if anyone knows how to effectively use this, um, please let me know, because I'm, I'm at a loss, but it looks really neat. Okay, and then it goes into the weekly spread. This is a weekly planner. So, you have Monday through Sunday. Saturday and Sunday are both at the bottom here. And these are split up. So this is blank with lines for each day. And then the following page is just lined. So let me see if I can show you that a bit better. Here's the week. And it's got to focus again. And then we have just lines. It's a note page on the other side. And it goes through like that the entire year until you get to the end. And at the very end, if I can find it here, you have another thing I thought was great, blank pages. You have quite a few, actually, blank pages. Um, and this would be great for taking notes. And the other thing that they sent along with this in the back of the planner here, dun, da, 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 line page. I can't remember what you call this, but it's the, uh, the grid page that you can put underneath your blank page so that you can still write um, neatly. And on the other side of this, they have regular lines. So I really love that this was included, and I may have to copycat this or steal it, um, because I like it. And lastly, what comes in this planner, and I don't know if I can get it out of here or not, but in the back pocket, there is a back pocket back here, but they have slid in this secondary little insert here. And this has, again, your year. This is January through June, July through December, and it's, it's got all the days here, but no years. So this you can use as future planning. And then you've got a contact roster. And it's just, you know, listed out here by alphabetical um, marks, alphabetical tabs. And you can use this as your address list. So I thought that was really nifty. I really like that. I probably will not use it myself but I um, I like it. <laughs> and now my curiosity has been, um, what do you call that, satisfied at least a little bit as to what these planners look like. This is one of the weekly planners. So now to go along with that, I did recently get several items that I'm very excited about to go along with bullet journaling. First off, Office Depot had these color coding uh, bits, these stickers. I like the idea of color coding. Not really sure if it'll work out for me, but it was cheap enough. I said, okay, I'll get the stickers and I'll try that out. So I got that. Also got additional post-it notes. Those were fun. And then um, I went to the dollar store actually for a separate project. I wanted to look for stuff for Halloween. I was not successful in that, but I did find also a collection of these little mini post-its that I was hoping uh, to get to use in my journal. And I found this block of paper, which I really liked for some reason. It's all, it's multicolored 
but the thing I like about it is this paper is actually pretty thin. It reminds me of um, parchment paper in, in the way you probably can't see it here, but it's, it's almost mottled. It's not a solid color throughout, so it's got that mottled look and thin. So I really like this paper. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I'm sure I'll figure out something. Okay, all that aside, my very last bit here, because I did not intend to make a 10-minute video on um, notebooks, but for this one, I thought these would be so cute. Look at them. Aren't they adorable? They're glittery owls. I found these at the dollar store. And I just, I'm thinking a couple of these will wind up on this cover. <laughs> so I'm happy about that. And just because I also got airplanes and flowers. Not sure what I'm going to do with these. They may wind up being gifts for my niece, but the owls for sure are going to wind up somehow in use. All right, so that is my little bitty planner haul uh, that took probably way too long to explain, but I hope you liked it, hope you enjoy it, and I will definitely show you how this beautiful white Leuchtturm turns out for the new year. Thanks very much. Talk to you soon. Bye.